Hey, welcome guys, Zazo here, just doing some more raids from Savage 8.9, and I meant to get this video out earlier, uh, but I didn't actually have the raids ready, uh, so on my lunch break, dedicated as I am, uh, I decided to grab as many replays as I could record, and slam this video together, of course, we won't just slam together a poorly made video, I mean, that's not our style. And I am a lot further behind uh, than where I wanted to be. I wanted to be sitting at around 51 to 5,200 cups. I'm sitting just above 5,000, uh, which at least I'm sitting just above 5,000. But it goes back to that little thing, as I told you before, life doesn't carry your plans sometimes, and neither does Clash. Uh, as much as I wanted to stick to my routine and have my shields ready, have that defense before new season, everything got all messed up due to a couple of whaled uh, defenses and just not being in the right position at the right time. So I ended up putting on my one-day shield earlier than I wanted to, uh, and then, of course, I was busy the last couple days with work, so didn't exactly get in the searching times that I've been looking for, but that happens. Um, personally, I find from day 10 to day 30 to be a lot better anyways than day 1 to 10. Um, so I, I'm not totally disappointed, however, I, a little disappointed in myself. And it is a beautiful... Uh, day outside it's only oh it's like minus three minus four. Oh, that's nice oh after a minus 30 minus 40 streak oh yeah minus three is nice uh that's like you don't even put a jacket on today it's so nice out there so hopefully it's just as nice where you guys are if not nicer of course somewhere i'm sure it's gloomy and raining and cold and yucky and you got to get the total mix since we do have around the world watching and finding myself a nice uh, 17 cup offer, I might say. Now, Daryl does a very good attack here. Um, however, I, I did want to complain at first that he left uh, the golems at the wall for too long. I figured I would have broken open them walls with a couple wall breakers and sent them in a lot sooner. However, it works out that the split actually really goes very well. Uh, you got that bottom golem going down there with those few wizards. That's going to get everything out of the way. You've got the barb king over there with the other golem and the volks. They're going to be getting a lot done. Uh, queen's up top by herself. However, she is holding her own. And, uh, yeah, that's a nice three-star attack. I mean, I, I can't really say much about it, right? What am I going to say? You should have three-starred it better. You should have three-starred it better. And myself, well, I guess I, I've lost a couple raids, so I should try not to lose better. Um, I won't be showing you those, however. Uh, you're going to have to learn from your own mistakes. Uh, you can't learn from other people's mistakes. You've got to do it yourself sometimes. I mean, I guess that's not totally true. I mean, you can watch somebody else, you know, make a mistake and be like, yeah, I don't want to do that. But uh, really, the best way to learn anything is hands-on. Um, the same with anything. I mean, you can go to schooling all you want, um, until you get out into the real field and out on the real job site, you just don't actually have a full understanding of what's going to go on. So it takes a little bit of experience. You're going to have to lose some raids, have some patience. It's going to happen. You'll figure it out. You'll find the right spots. And even after you've figured it out and you've found the right spots and you've gone on days and days without losing and you think, oh, I can take every base. That's where you got too brave for your britches. And that's where you're about to lose again, which will knock back that 
cockiness for another a uh, few days to a week and then you'll be right back into trying it again so just learn from your mistakes don't get too mad with yourself it's gonna happen however of course because i do record all the videos uh, i have already seen all the replays and this is one of the ones i'm gonna complain about uh so far uh, i think everything perfect that's exactly where i would have zapped um, if you look, you have three expos to air and one expo to ground. So that corner obviously is going to be, you know, your most percentage is going to be taken out of that corner by air easily. Um, so that move was right. And 30% by the time the eagle triggered, that was right. I like to see that. Now we're coming up to where I'm not quite sure what you were thinking. Um, I'd have gone to the top. Now you just triggered the CC troops. What are you doing? And just above where the queen is, so the second you walk in that wall, after you've almost killed yourself with the CC troops, that queen's going to jump over the wall, meet you halfway, and she's going to kill you as well. Um, I'd have gone from the top. Just saying, I'd have gone from the top. That's probably where I would have tried to have been successful. Uh, there's a few things you don't want to do, and sometimes you do want to do them. Sometimes you do want to engage the queen and the CC and make that your kill spot or kill squad, whatever they want to call it. Uh, but it depends where it is. Uh, in other scenarios, you don't want to touch either of them. You don't want the queen to engage with you and you don't want to trigger that CC. Uh, most times, 9 out of 10, I don't want to trigger CC. If I'm on my Town Hall 11 or something like that, where I'm actually going to go for the 3 stars, not the 2 stars, well, then I will do a different attacking style or different technique to pull that CC so that I can kill it. That's a major part of your 3 starring attacks. Um, to get the 50%, you don't even have to touch the CC, so that's why I prefer not to trigger the CC. And that lightning strike there at the bottom, I don't necessarily agree with that one neither. Um, especially being that up top, you have an air defense, or not an air defense, you have an archer tower that's being upgraded. Uh, so that's one less thing. So you basically, couple loons up top with the baby dragon on that mortar, you'd have probably gotten most of that stuff out of the way. Just little spots to look, right? Like, you just want to have the total patience. I mean, you can't, I can't really say too much when a guy wins a raid. Uh, I can make little suggestions on what I might tweak or what I might do different. Ultimately, though, I mean, if it works for them, it works for them. I don't know if that screwed up for you guys, too, but that was kind of weird for my screen for a second there. And if you guys are wanting to push your Town Hall 9, you want to come on in, just try and remember, I've said it before, I'll say it again, I think it's even in the clan description, it actually might not be now, so I should watch what I say. Um, 4800s, right? 4800s plus to join, especially if it's your first time. I know that you might see some guys that are in there lower than 4800s. Some of them have some seniority, right? They've been there, they've been up there, maybe they've dropped, maybe they come back and visiting, maybe they're hopping. You don't know why you might see a few players lower than that 4,800s or even half a dozen, a dozen players lower than that. Um, you know, if, if you come to the clan at 4,400 and I've got a guy that's 4,300s, I'm probably not going to kick him for you because he's been there longer. I'm giving him his chance to get back up there. Now, if you come to the clan at 4,800s and have a little bit of patience because sometimes you'll click join and for the next, you know, 5, 10, 15, 20, half an hour, uh, people might actually be in clouds or nobody's just happened to check to see what the town hall was. So sometimes you got to be a little bit of patience uh, or have a little bit of patience, I should say, when you're trying to join. Uh, don't just click join and then five minutes later go join some other random clan and be like, yeah, I couldn't get in. Uh, you didn't really try hard enough, did you? Um, so yeah, that's pretty much all I got to say. Uh, hopefully, I will see all of you out there pushing your Town Hall 9s to great new heights. Um, I got a long way to go to beat my PB yet, but we still got a long way to go in this season. So 
Anyways, that is it for me. I am going to end this video anytime soon. Uh, we just had to fill in this big gap. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm out of here. Peace.